All right, this video will show you how to draw a house using Microsoft PowerPoint. So I've already gone to Google. I found a picture of a house I'm trying to reproduce. So I'm going to zoom out, make sure I see my whole page. Maybe move this out of the way a little. And we're going to use insert and shapes. And I would start with a basic rectangle. There it is. If it fills in, just come back to styles here and use this style which is basically just a black outline with a white fill. And then you can size it, of course. Now for a roof, we can use one of these. So I'm just clicking and dragging. And you can actually change the angle of that if you want. Position it exactly where you want to. And then I'm probably going to want a triangle for the other part. And I can go on top of that. And it looks kind of good, but I want this to come out a little bit more. So you're not stuck with the original. So now if I want a rectangle in here, I can draw a rectangle in here. Now, you're probably not going to want the line because there's no line here. It's just one big shape. Let me show you how you would do that. We're going to use this to trace that shape perfectly. So I'm going to center this. Now I'm going to select these two things by using my shift key. And then I'm going to center those to one another. Okay, so if you want to select multiple objects, it's with shift. And then you can center them. And now I'm going to use a tracing tool. It's not called tracing, but it should be. It's called freeform. And I'm simply going to click at the beginning. And every time you want to change direction, you simply click again. And I'm just clicking every time I want to change direction. And then join it at the end. And now that's one solid shape that I put in there. There it is. OK, so that's one shape. And that means you'll be able to fill that shape. So I can get rid of the triangle. I don't need it anymore. And I can get rid of the original rectangle. I don't need it anymore. And if I fill this with white, the background will show there. So I can go just white. And there's that. I did a really bad job because I'm in a hurry to record this video. Next, you'd want windows. So again, we're going to go to insert. And I would simply use a rectangle. Now, you're going to need to zoom in and zoom out as you're doing this exercise. So I'm going to zoom in. And now what I want to do is I want to build the middle part of the window. Again, just rectangles. So this is just going to be a skinny rectangle. And again, I'll, I'd probably want to zoom in a little bit more to make it perfect because it's not quite the right size. So you'd want it to be the right size. And if you want to see if it's the same height as the rectangle, here it's 1.14 and the rectangle is 1.14. So they are perfect. And if I want to make sure they're centered, I can come back here and I can say that they're, it's in the middle. Now I want the one across the side. I would just copy this one. with my control key. And then as long as you zoomed in enough, you can see the rotate. Now don't try to free rotate. Use your shift key when you're rotating and that gives you 15 degrees at a time. And now I can size it, put it here. And again, I'm gonna to wanna to select this and the window. And then I'm gonna to wanna to put that in the middle. So now these are perfectly centered. My window is perfect. Once you have a perfect window, you can select all the objects of your window, all three of them, with your shift key. You can group them. And then I can copy this entire window using my control key. I'm going to zoom out. You can add things like bushes. You can add a deck. I'll show you how to make a deck. So you'd start with the first one. And once you have a perfect size for your the first post in your deck, you can copy and paste that. So I'm going to go Control C, and then Control V V V V V V V V V V V. Now, when you want to select this, I would suggest you go back to Home, go to Select, and use Select, and then you can draw a rectangle around all of those, and that selects all of them. 
and then we can go back to format and we can align top and then I would take the first one I want to take the first one here bring it all the way over to the right and then I'm going to select all of them again I'm going to come back here I'm going to distribute horizontally and then you can build another top of your deck And then I'll copy that with my control key. And then I got the bottom of the deck. Again, doing a really fast, half-fast job, but that's how you work in here. If you want to fill in your roof, it's kind of complicated, but you go to fill, texture, more textures, pattern. Now, they don't show up because you have to ask for a color first. So go foreground, and then you can go to tile, and then you can see. So you can pick different colors, brown, whatever. Just want to add a couple things like a shrub or a tree. That could be a shrub or a tree. If you put a trunk on it, it would be a tree. You would insert a rectangle, put it behind. So if you want to bring things above, in the back or behind, I can send that backward. Make it a different size, of course. Fill it with brown. Terrible looking tree, but I think you get the idea. Now, last, I want to talk about sky and grass. Simply rectangles. Big rectangles. Don't do this till you've absolutely done everything. Okay? So you're going to go back. You're going to go blue and send it all the way to the back. Oh, not forward, but send all the way to the back. Then you get your sky. And then you can put some clouds on there if you want. The last thing I want to put is, of course, the grass. So it's insert, rectangle, and right th like that, some form of green. And once again, we're going to go all the way to send to the back. So that's how you insert objects. You can multiple select, you can arrange, you can group, you can center to one another, spread them out, align. Real, a lot, lot of lessons there. I understand you may need to watch this or ask some questions, but that's basically how you're going to build a house using PowerPoint.